All right, so now we're gonna look at our Zing Epilog laser. So it lives up here. We have our little workstation down here. So we're gonna get started taking a look at our file that we're gonna cut. So this is our test file. We have three different types of cuts in here. We're gonna do a through cut of the material. So we're gonna cut all the way through and actually cut out this shape. We're gonna do a raster cut, which is an engraving pattern. So we're gonna engrave in, and then we're gonna do what's called a score. And a score is very similar to a raster engrave, but it follows a single line. So when we look at our file here, we have red, which is our cutout, green is our score, and blue is our raster. So the raster is already set up. We don't need to do anything to this. For our red and our green, since they're line work, we're just gonna adjust stroke width. I'm familiar with Illustrator, there's some great tutorials you can take a look at, but right now we're just gonna switch over to get everything ready. Once we have our file all set up, we can pretty much send it over to print just like you would with a regular printer. So I'm gonna load up the settings for eighth inch plywood, since that's what we're cutting. Now I'm gonna wait to hit print because our machine's not on, so let's jump up, we're gonna take a look at the machine and we'll see how we set up on the machine end before we actually cut this. I already turned it on, the power button's over here on the right side by the window. And then we can add our material in, so it just opens right up. And then we have to calibrate it to this material. So there is a little arm in here which we're gonna set up that we wanna get to the right height um, of our eighth inch acrylic, or eighth inch plywood, sorry. Close it up, and now we're gonna be ready to cut our material. From where we are right now, the machine has no files on it, so I can't do anything yet until I hit print back on the computer. So I'm gonna step down, I'm gonna send it over. So before we actually run the laser, there's a couple things that we have to turn on. First is this air filter. So all of these lights will come on. This is gonna pump air out through the window. And then the second thing is this air pump that lives up here. And this is so that when our laser beam is actually going into the material, there's airflow to keep moving things away so that it doesn't start any type of fire. So now, since I sent the file over, it has a file queued up to print, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that. So once it's all done, um, you'll see the laser go back into place. You can open this right up and pull our material out. And we're all done. Now, this didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to, so I might redo this if I were gonna make this um, for real. But we have our rastering, our scoring, and then this path on the outside would have been a cut through. This material was a little bit warped, so it didn't actually cut all the way through. So I might run it again just to get this to actually pop out. But very quick, pretty straightforward. Um, so this only took maybe two, three minutes tops to do this this little cut job. One thing to note about this laser is that this is a class four laser. There's different classes of lasers. So you do always need safety glasses whenever you're using this laser and running it here at Rev.